Nick, how's practice today? Man, practice was fun. You know, we got after it. Uh, you know, for the corners, we don't have Coach Graham right now. You know, he's out. So we just made sure as a group, we went out there, kept the standard the standard, and just went out there and made sure we had fun. What's the uh, what's it like getting back? You guys were a week off uh, for spring break. Was it any rust or anything? Or was uh, it like coming back? A little rust, you know, for everybody. But that's just how it is coming off a long break. But, you know, we just did a good job of, you know, knocking that rust off. You know, uh, you know we didn't have any install today, so we just able to I'd go out there, pray free, not think a lot. What has the spring been like for you overall? What are you getting out of this time? Uh, for me, uh, I made sure this spring for me is just fine tuning. Uh, that was the goal for me going into this spring. Uh, just fine tuning and just getting better as an individual and also getting better as just being a leader for the guys. What are some of those aspects of your game that you can fine tune in specific areas you're looking at? Uh, you know, press man, you know, attacking the ball. Uh, you know, I haven't really had much opportunity to attacking the ball, but I know they'll, they'll be coming. So those are really the two main things that I just wanted to focus on and just really just being confident, which I have been. And, uh, you know, it's just been a smooth for me. What's it been like going through this process as kind of your super senior year and the amount of experience you have going through this kind of a season? Oh, it's been good. I, I made sure that for me going into my fifth year, just enjoy it, you know, not think too much of it, you know, just take it day by day, let everything handle itself, and, you know, just be me. What's the cornerback room look like this spring? Uh, you know, we, we got guys, you know, uh, Double D, Jakevian Ro uh, Rogers, you know, he's doing a good job, Young Gun, you know, Zay stepping up, uh, you know, uh, Xavier Spencer, Dewan Griffin, those guys are stepping up. Alpha, Alpha Khan actually had a great practice today. He's stepping up. So our room is good. You know, we got young guys who are still learning. And, you know, that's why I'm here, you know, to just be being the super senior, like you said, just, you know, being there to keep them grounded, and, you know, given some of the knowledge that I've learned my four years. To come. One of the guys you mentioned is a true freshman. Is it surprising uh, to see Rogers come in here and, you know, look so so good? Uh, yeah, especially because, you know, he's only like a buck 30. So yeah. it's like, but, you know, he came out here, man. You know, he still got some things to work on. You know, he's young, but he's coming along. And just from the start in the summer to now, he's definitely improved. What have you seen from uh, Zay Frazier from the time he got here last year till now? Is he, is he has he improved in? Oh yeah, his confidence is skyrocketing uh, today. Especially, you know, he was sticky in coverage all day, and you could just see him being him. And that's not something he was last year because he was still getting acclimated. Same thing for me. But you know, as we got acclimated and we've gotten used to the culture and used to everything about it, he's been himself. He's been having a blast, having fun. Yeah, speaking of, I guess your maturity. What's it been like this last year for you? Kind of, is it more of a mental development, or is it also you know on the field physical? But, too? No, it's definitely mental. Because for me, I'll just be honest. With me, my best is when I'm good up here. But when I'm struggling up here, I'm not really my best. And I've been like that all my life. You know what I'm saying? So. All, like every year, I've just made sure I've done a good job of increasing that. So coming into my fifth year and going through this culture, seeing how it is, it made it so much easier for me to improve. And after going through last year, you know, going through what I went through, hitting the, the walls that I've hit, stuff like that, not going into this spring and also going into this fall, summer, then fall, I feel like now it's, you know, God is doing what he's got to do and I'm doing what I got to do. We're just collaborating and partnering up. Were there some things that led to some of those mental struggles last year? Or what were the hurdles you felt like you hit? Uh, I just, well, it was for me, it was just more so just confidence. Like for me, when something would go bad, I just automatically crumble. And, you know, as a defensive back, you can't have that. But throughout the season, I did a good job of just, you know, just staying up there. And then a big part of that was the team and the coaches keeping me up. And I haven't really had that before previously, like at West Virginia. So being here, man, it's, it's a blast. I'm able to have fun. I'm able to be me. And that's all I've ever wanted to be. So, yeah, that's definitely the big jump that I've been able to do. How do you handle that leadership part and maybe offer an advice? Do you like to do that like on the field, right? When a drill happens, do you like to pull guys aside after? Like, how do you approach it? Uh, it's, for me, it's natural. Uh, I've been like that too. I've always, like for me, I like to see other people succeed. So for me to help somebody succeed, if I can give them a piece of me or from what I've learned or just from what I've, somebody's taught me, I like to always give it to others and see them do it as well. You know, so that's just, for me, that's how it's always been. I've always been able to, you know, put a little courage in the other guys, give them some knowledge and help them out. And I always go about it, you know, genuinely so they know that it's all love and I'm really trying to help them. You're going to need a new starter opposite you with Corey Bayfield moving on. Do you have early eyes on who that could be? Hey, man, we just practicing and having a blast right now. Whenever that time come, it'll come. But right now, all of us just getting great work and just doing what we got to do. DeJuan Griffin's obviously had some opportunities here. How have you seen him develop from last year? Oh, yeah, DeJuan, he's the one is going to keep being the one as, as far as in, improving. He's gotten so much better uh, from last year to this year, and I know he's going to keep climbing and climbing. And you have another uh, newcomer in the secondary with Elliot Davison. I'm curious kind of what's your first impression what he's brought at the same Oh, he's a baller. I like Elliot. He, Elliot. he don't really talk as much. I don't know if it's because, you know, he's still getting used to it, or but I feel like he's he, he a little scrappy. And I know he got it in him, but, you know, he's still getting used to it. But, yeah, he's a dog. I like him. 
and he's definitely a great addition to the team. Do you try to help him settle in or maybe rooting out that more vocal side in him? Uh, yeah, on the sideline for sure. Or like, for example, today we did one-on-ones and he had got a, uh, he had got like an over and I just basically was trying to tell him like, you know, give him from what I've learned, just help him out a little bit. And he was attentive and he was listening to me. So yeah, he's definitely willing to learn. He's willing to, you know, understand from other guys, not just the coaches. So that makes everybody's job easier. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. Appreciate it.